Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going over ratios. Now a ratio is just when we compare two different amounts or two quantities. A ratio specifically is comparing quantities by using division. For example, in my classroom, for every two pens that a student has, they should have six pencils. So the ratio would be two to six. Here's what it looks like when you write them up three different ways. You can use your words, you can show it in a fraction, or you can show it by using the colon and making that type of ratio. Now, when we write a ratio, it's important to write it in simplest form, just like we do with fractions. So let's say for every three erasers that I have, I have 12 markers. That would give us three to 12, three to 12, or I can write it three over. Well, now, when I look at it in the fraction form, I can see that I can actually simplify this, which means to do that, both of these numbers are divisible by three. So three goes into three, how many times? One. How many times does three go into 12? Three, six, nine, 12, four times. A better ratio would be for every one eraser that I have, I have four markers. Let's see if that fits. So I split up my three erasers, and now I'm going to see if I can evenly distribute each pen to these erasers, and we are hoping that this ratio should match up to one eraser per four pens. That way I can use my three erasers to use all 12 of my pens. So I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That one rolled away. Come back, okay? And then I have one, two, three, four. So I can say for every one eraser, I have four pens. I can also say for every three erasers, I have 12 pens. If I wanted to double that, I could say I have six erasers to every 24 pens. But the simplest version is one eraser to four pens. Remember, you can use ratios to compare multiple responses. It does not just have to be one thing and another thing. So let's look at this table. I asked my students which flavor of gum they liked best. So for peppermint, I had nine, so it was their favorite. Cinnamon, we had eight. Fruit, there was three, and spearmint, there was one. So for this ratio, let's go ahead and compare the students who liked fruit the best to all the other students. So we are going to be comparing fruit to everything else. Fruit, I know I have three. So let's add these up. I see a nine and a one, so real quick 10, plus that eight, that's going to be 18. So for every three students who preferred fruit, we had 18 students that did not want fruit. Can this be simplified? Yes, because the greatest common factor, the greatest number that both of these have in common is three. So I cannot go higher than three. Three goes into three, one. And how many times does three go into 18? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, six times. So our actual ratio would be one fruit gum lover to every six non fruit gum lovers. I could also write this using my words one to six, or as a fraction one over. Now using the same chart, let's go ahead and compare more values. Let's say I want to compare the students who preferred mint gum, peppermint and spearmint, to students that did not like mint gum. Well, I would go ahead and combine my peppermint and my spearmint. So nine plus one, that would give me 10. Two, my students who did not like mint would be cinnamon and fruit. Eight, nine, 10, 11. So to every 10 students who preferred mint gum, there were 11 that did not prefer mint gum. Can I simplify this? No, because there's no factors that they have in common. So don't be afraid just because you see bigger numbers that they need to be simplified. Sometimes they just can't. So for this, our ratio is just 10 to 11, which I can also write in word form. 10 to 11, or in fraction form, 10 over 11. All right, so there's your quick review on ratios. If you like this video or find it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.